Hey there, welcome to Main Street Living. I'm Cheryl Nelson. I'm Quincy Carr. And I'm Danielle Alvari. Hey guys, so you know, I've been thinking, here we are really getting toward the end of summer now, believe it or not, we're into August. And I'm starting to think about vacations and trips I had planned. And I know I, I have been able to travel, which has been great. But I was wondering if you guys had trips maybe that got kind of ruined due to COVID, the pandemic, because I was supposed to go to Canada three different times. And that mm -hmm. hasn't happened uh, because of the, the border and everything. But what about you guys? I think... You better be careful, Cheryl. I think if you go to Canada three times, they make you a citizen. <laughs> I, know, I, I can be a dual citizen. <laughs> Well, well, but Cheryl, like at the same time, you've had a lot of things canceled, but you've also gone a lot of places in the last couple you of been months. Living, Cheryl. <laughs> there's, there's always a workaround. There's always I'm something else. That can be done. <laughs> but Quincy, wait, I know you had somewhere you had to be. Actually, I am going somewhere today, me and my family, after uh, we tape this show, we're actually going to go relax for a couple of days and Ooh. just kind of unwind. Um, but we were supposed to go this spring for spring break. We were going to, I don't know if my daughter can hear, we was going to surprise her and take uh -oh. her to a place overseas because she loves that uh, Paris. But, uh, it didn't work out because COVID hit and all the plans got changed. So uh, save money in our pocket because she didn't know where she was supposed to go. So we, we didn't have to play it down. But that was the one thing that happened to me. How about you, Danielle? Yeah, it's a bummer. Um I saved money as well. I was planning on going to Las Vegas this summer. Uh, <laughs> summer is my usually my slower season where I get a little bit more time off, less work, um, less sports, and right now no sports. Um, so I saved money as well um, that I would have spent gambling probably. So. <laughs> what kind of things do you do for gambling? What do you like to do? Um, mostly I like to bet on college football and March Madness when that comes around, but um, not this year. But well, we'll, uh, we'll talk about that more later in the show though. Yeah. <laughs> At the casinos, though, what do you like to do in Vegas? Um, I'm just, oh, oh, I don't do casinos. No, no. Oh, you no. don't? No, no. Oh, okay. Is it the no, no, that's all, that's all luck. I like to bet on games. I need data. I see. You know how it is, Cheryl. You're a science yeah, girl. Yeah, well, but you okay, this might surprise you then. Can you guys guess what I like to do at casinos? Uh, is it um, going to be the worst one roulette? Are you, like, the worst odds? Or Nope. Oh, I got it. I got to stop the people from smoking. <laughs> What is what are you saying about me? I don't know if I like that comment. <laughs> okay, so when I'm when I'm 80, I'm probably gonna be the old lady who's sitting there with the slot machine, pulling the thing and uh, pressing it over and over. Yeah, I I get addicted to the slots. And I'm sure you have your cats with you too. I <laughs> know. <laughs> Meow. <laughs> No, the, the cats, they wouldn't handle all that. They'd be like, all right, mom, we're done. This is this is enough. But Quincy, do you gamble? Uh, yeah, I only play the lottery. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Have you yeah. ever won anything? Uh, clearly, I'm on the show, so I have not won yet. Okay. Danielle, so what is he saying about us? So if you I'm won the lottery, I'm, you'd be I'm like, still, peace I'm out. still working, that's all. Working. Yeah, do it for the love of the game, Quincy. Oh, You'd be on the show anyway, right? Absolutely. If I won the lottery tomorrow, guys, I would be back here next week. Mm -hmm. um, yes. 